Look at this, Andy. I'm I'm using touch. I'm using a touchscreen on Mac OS. Monitors are pretty cool, in my opinion. You know, phones. You got phones, but they have really small screens. Monitors, on the other hand, they got big old screens. Big as big as you want, almost, but not all the time. Thick with two C's. <laughs> mm. But the big problem with monitors is the fact you can't move them around. I mean, you can move them around, but they got to be plugged into the wall. Most monitors you can't bring everywhere. But guess what? Guess what this is? It's a potable monitor. You can drink it because it's called espresso. Oh. Espresso. <laughs> <laughs> this is a portable monitor, and I mean, as you as you point as Jonna pointed out, I do have sort of a thing for portable doohickeys. I liked the next dock a lot, and that's technically I'll give it to you, Jono. It's technically a portable monitor with a keyboard and trackpad and ports and stuff. It's the Espresso 15-inch portable monitor. This almost like doesn't seem like a device. It just seems like a like a mock-up or something. It's so I picked up the box and I was like, this is heavy, but I now holding it in my hands, I'm like, for a monitor or even a tablet, this is quite light for its size. That's for the laptop, which we have over here. We got a MacBook that we're gonna hook things up to uh, because it works well with Macs. It has software for Macs. It has software for Macs, but not for Windows? It seems like it's geared towards Mac. Yeah. I mean, it's a monitor. So you should be able to plug it into anything that has HDMI, but I mean, well, who, who knows? I, I won't say that yet. I gotta try it out. If you use a Windows PC, you don't deserve this. Look at this. This is better than you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so thin. Okay, so we got, looks like a micro HDMI or mini HDMI, some sort of smaller HDMI port, two USB-C connectors. And then over here, we got a headphone jack, looks like, and two buttons of some kind. Speakers on the bottom, uh, two speaker grills, just like an iPad. One of those USB-Cs is for power and the other one is for power and display in. I don't know which one is which though because it is not labeled, but hey, that's the fun of short circuit. We'll find out, ha <laughs> ha. It's a mini HDMI, not a micro HDMI. We got a USB-A to C cord, so I'm guessing that's the power. Windows devices with USB-C ports that support Thunderbolt 3 or DisplayPort alternate mode. You wanna plug the thing into that. Oh, this is the full size HDMI to mini HDMI. So we also have these two boxes. A stand, I'm guessing this is the stand of some kind. Oh, oh. is that the stand? Wait, before I find it, before I actually figure it out, I'm gonna open this one. What's, what is this? This is a VESA mount adapter. Oh, it's magnetic. That goes down and then you do that. There we go, now we're talking. Okay, so so it lightly, there's some light suction here. Magnetic suction, I think is the scientific term. Oh, he suck. <laughs> it scares me a little bit, just because the only way that it's mounted on there is with a magnet. It's pretty pretty, huh? It looks like an iMac. <laughs> it looks like a very wobbly iMac, <laughs> look at it. Let's turn it on. Let's plug it into the laptop. But before we do that, sponsor time. Notion is an excellent tool to help you collaborate with a team or work on your own. Notion makes it easy for teams to get more accomplished because you can easily share your work. Take notes, manage tasks, set goals, and so much more. Notion is so customizable, you can tailor tools to fit your team or your own needs. Many of us in the office use Notion, both personally and at work, to seamlessly manage and collaborate on different projects around the office. So sign up for Notion for free using the link in the description. Let's turn it on. Turn me on, turn me on. Look at this, Andy. I'm I'm using touch. I'm using a touchscreen on Mac OS. It wouldn't be that hard for Apple to just throw this in if, espre if Espresso can figure it out. I mean, this is pretty nice. Just to, you know, it's nice to have that extra s screen real estate in Mac OS, but it's also nice to basically hack a way for you to use your your fingers to control Mac OS. Well, those speakers are not good. <laughs> I mean, especially compared to the MacBook speakers, like, it's nice that it has speakers if you like really need, you know, if you just need to kind of play something to, to hear what the audio sounds like for a, for a hot second, but it's definitely not something you're gonna use as your main. Ooh, the disto- Can you hear that? Yeah. Oof, big oof. Go back to the other one. Oh, that's way better. Definitely warmer. Yeah. 
I mean, as it is, it's not horrible. It's just like a little bit warmer than this one. My main complaint is that it's like dimmer and this is like the max brightness it can go. But I mean, when you're looking at it straight on, it's not so bad. Oh yeah, this is fine. So I guess the idea is that you can power it and use USB-C for both power and display. If I just do that, it's powered. That's all you need. Look at that, that's basically, I mean, that's a workstation. Okay, so now I got power and HDMI separately from my MacBook. So you could do that if you don't have Thunderbolt on your laptop. Let's see if it fits in there. Bam! Don't forget this when you're going to the coffee shop. Boom! I'm going to the coffee shop to write my next screenplay while I'm paying for my bills as a barista at the, that same coffee shop, and no one's any the wiser that I'm walking around with a dual monitor workstation in this freaking backpack. Like, that's amazing. It's not the first uh, portable monitor on the market. Obviously, you know, uh, as we said, Asus has uh, at least one model, there might be more. There are also options like the Next Dock, which I've already covered on Short Circuit, and we did an LTT on, on one of them as well. But that's kind of more like a like a really specific example of something that you would plug like a phone into to use as your as your computer. But this, you could use this as just a regular monitor too because it does have the exter the separated power and HDMI ports as well as an integrated Thunderbolt uh, port. You could use it however you want and it's so light. Obviously, we haven't used it a ton, so like maybe there's some like secret secret problems that I'm not seeing, but for now I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, we also hope it gives you a new way to interact with your favorite device, whether that be through your Mac or Nintendo Switch. That's another use that I didn't talk about, that I did also talk about with the next dock. This is a great little portable Nintendo Switch thing. So the 13 inch version is 329 US and the 15 inch version is 379 US. You know, that's not bad. Oh, there's also specs here that I didn't say at all at the beginning. 60 Hertz, 99%. SRGB, 300 nits max brightness. So like, as I said, you know, that's not super bright, but it's bright enough. Well, I guess at the end of the day, a portable monitor is a little better than a stationary monitor if you wanna go places. And that's really the only conclusion we can draw here. <laughs> this is super light. It's super portable, obviously. It's got this really cool stand. I know the Asus kind of had a different um, stand as well, where it was like a pole and it had three legs that kind of made like a tripod situation. James reviewed that one, I think. I'm a little concerned about how the hinges are gonna hold up long term, but overall, I mean, it's super easy to mount. Boom, and there you go, you got a portable monitor. Anyways, that's the Espresso portable monitor. Thanks for watching, guys. And check it out if you wanna, if you need a monitor that moves around just as much as you do. Uh, thanks for watching Short Circuit. Subscribe to TechLinked. And Carpo Critics. And Carpo Critics. Ah. Also this channel.